So in this video, we're gonna start looking at how to graph functions. So the first thing I'll say is that knowing the functions definitely helps. So just by looking at them, knowing what kind of shape they're gonna be, it means you know what to look out for when you're plotting the points. So we'll look at this example first, so just an easy one. So graph the function f of x is equal to x squared plus x plus one in the domain minus four is less than x is less than uh, plus four. So this is kind of a fancy way of saying basically graph this from minus four to plus four. So don't really, like that's why I said in the other video, uh, don't be too worried about domain, codomain, and range. Just have to kind of do the question as you would anyway. So if I saw this question, I would, uh, this, this is the way you're gonna graph any um, function if they ask you to. So you're gonna draw x then f of x, and then you're gonna draw a big table like this. So then you're gonna do minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, Ooh, just fix that a little bit, minus one, and you're gonna have zero, one, two, three, and four, okay? So all the numbers in the domain, as they call it, and then it's just about sticking each number into your function as follows. So I'm only gonna do for the first one, just to show you, but you're just gonna say f of x is equal to, so minus four squared plus minus four plus one, that's 16 minus four plus one, and that's equal to 13. Okay, so this one is gonna be 13. Then minus three, if you do the same, I'm not gonna go through it, it's gonna be seven, then this is gonna be three, this is gonna be one, this is also gonna be one, this is gonna be three, it's gonna be seven and 13. So you see it gets quadratic, it's gonna be u, it's gonna start repeating itself and then uh, four is 21. So that's just doing that individually each time uh, and finding your values for x and then f of x. So again, your inputs and then these are your outputs. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw it. So because I don't have graph paper here, I can't do it very well. I'm just gonna do a little sketch. Um, there's our x and there's our y axis. I'll do it in red. And our graph is gonna look something like that there, okay? So that point there is one. That point there is also one, and then any other points you want to do. Uh, so I know this isn't perfectly to scale because it should be from minus four to plus four, but uh, I hope you'll forgive me anyway just by doing it on, on a black. But basically you get the idea. That's all you have to do every time. So you don't even need to know what the function is going to look like because if you plot enough points, you'll figure it out. It does help if you can tell straight away. So I can tell straight away it's gonna be a quadratic, so I know what it's gonna look like, okay? Um, then I'll show another example as well, just, just to prove the point. You don't really know, need to know what it looks like. So second example we're gonna do is, they want us to graph f of x is equal to log base three of x um, in the domain zero x to five, okay? So one thing about logs, you can't have log of a negative number, so you'll never get a negative number here in the domain. So zero is the lowest the log can go to. Um, and even then, it can't, it can't actually go to zero either. So actually, I need to remove that. So sorry, I just needed to get rid of that um, little underline there because x can't actually go to zero because it's a log. And you don't need to be too worried. So again, we're gonna do the same thing. So x and then f of x. Draw our thing here. So we're gonna try zero. We're gonna try, in this case, because zero basically is gonna give us Na. Yes, we won't, won't be able to find it. That means I'm gonna try some numbers close to zero. And uh, Normally you wouldn't have to, but I'm just gonna do this just to sh uh, show you, because we wanna know what happens for zero. So I picked 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and 0 0.75, and then one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, it's so just a few numbers. Uh, again, it should be a little bit neater, but hopefully you'll have graph paper. So then it's just about putting these into your calculator unless you can work them out in your head, but I uh, I doubt you can. So I'll go orange uh, for green, white, and orange. And then so 0 0.25, stick it into your calculator, is gonna give you minus 1.26. So you stick 0 0.5 into your calculator for log here, so it's gonna be log base three of x. So there's a button in your calculator that'll do that for you. Um, you're gonna find that it's minus 0.63, then 0 0.75. Stick it into your calculator, you'll find that's minus 0 0.26. Stick one in as your calculator, you're gonna get zero. Two, you're gonna find that it's 0 
If you stick three in, you'll find your answer will be one. This will give us 1.26, and then last five will give us 1.46, okay? So again, now I wanna have a very accurate graph, X and then Y. Uh, I'll do it in dark blue. So we're gonna go by the points here. So on the last one I just knew it was gonna be U, so I just kind of drew it. But in the exam, what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to each point. So for zero, there's NA, so that means it'll, there's gonna be an asymptote that log will never touch the y-axis. So hopefully you remember that from our brief overview. Um, so 0 0.25 is gonna be about there, and it's gonna be minus 1.26. So I'm gonna say minus 1.26 is there. So that's gonna be our first point. Uh, and I'm actually just gonna draw a little circle around that as well. Um, 0 0.5 then is gonna be minus 0 0.63. So I'm gonna say 0 0.5 is about there. And that means 0 0.63 is gonna be about there. 0 0.75 minus 0 0.26 hopefully going to be like that uh, 1 and 0 so this point is going to be here 2 and 0 0.63 so then 2 is going to be about out here 0 0.63 should be about there uh, 3 and 1 so 3 will be out here 1 will be up here maybe 4 1.26 and four will be about here. 1.26 again will be a little bit higher. And then five is 1.46. 1.46 a little bit higher again. Okay, so if you wanna connect our dots, like that. So that looks like the log graph we looked at in the last video. Uh, so again, it does help because I knew it's gonna look, it was gonna look something like this. Um, but even, even still, you don't actually need to know as long as you graph it accurate enough, it'll still end up looking like your log graph. So you should also uh, label the axis. That's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five. And um, that's obviously gonna be our origin, so it's gonna be zero. And you can label those as well if you'd like. And then also you should label your uh, Y axis. That's gonna be about one. And then you can put in the other labels. I'm not gonna go into all the detail. I just wanna show you a brief overview. Um, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. So just to prove uh, if they ask something about the domain, you don't have to be too worried. Just basically make out this table, plot your points and then connect them. One, one thing as well, don't connect them in straight lines. Don't go straight line to there and then straight line to there and then straight line to there. Don't make a square looking thing. Uh, just do one big curve. So even if you don't hit all the points, it doesn't really matter. It just has to roughly make a U. Uh, yeah, and the same here, you don't wanna do straight lines because the none of the curves are gonna have straight lines in them. So again, hopefully that made sense. Uh, it just shows you can graph any function as long as you follow this method and are kind of, you plot enough points, uh, it'll eventually look like what you're looking for. Uh, yeah, hopefully that helped. And we'll, look at you, look, uh, we'll see you again in the next video. We'll talk about composite functions, which is a small thing that could come up.